Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, thanks for tuning in and today we have another product review for you. We've got some new products from our friends at Fleur Audio. If you've not seen our reviews for the Fleur products before, uh, we reviewed things like the uh, incredible Isolate uh, ear protectors and also recently the uh, high-end audiophile level um, Fleur's Pro earphones. Uh, today we have the new Jet 1 and Jet two earphones which are in these little bags um, which are kind of the everyday versions of the headphone technology. So Christian, what's in the bag? So when you first uh, get the packet it's in a nice little um, enclosure which you uh, rip open the top and inside very securely packaged you'll first see the little carry case for the headphones and then once you open that up the first thing you're going to see is the little bag of tips and you get three um, sets of silicone tips small medium and large hopefully to suit every type of ear um, and then after that securely packaged in some bubble wrap you actually have the headphones themselves um, depending on whether you've got the jet one or the jet two um, they're going to look slightly different the jet one the actual earphones themselves are made from a uh, polymer plastic um, the jet 2 are made from aluminium um, so that's that's the main difference between both earphones um, pretty much everything else is the same so the cables the same the connectors the same um, so that's that's the main difference between them yeah so we each tried one uh, of them and um, which one did you have again I had the, I had the jet one so I had jet 2 which are uh, aluminium and look uh, quite cool I like a silver and all kind of sparkly and nice. Like, like Christine said, all the cables are exactly the same, so you've got this nice kind of um, black and white kind of like checked cable. It feels a very secure cable. It feels it feels more luxury than your regular cable you'll find on typical cheaper uh, earphones. It's very similar so. to the one on the Pros. Yeah. It's very similar, yeah. Um, I think they look very sleek as the black polymer ones. They're very nice. Very understated, uh, with the Fleur logo in, in white, whereas they're just etched into the aluminium ones. Um, so yeah, what did you think? Well, in terms of the Jet One, which they come in at £49, um, I think they actually sound fantastic. I think the first thing I noticed was you've got to try out the different ear tips, because depending on whether you're used to wearing in-ear headphones, it's all about getting the right fit. I first tried them with a medium and I probably put them a bit too deep in my ears and I felt they were very bass heavy, which I'm not used to with earphones. I, I, when I'm looking for a set of headphones, I try and find something that's very balanced and very true to the, yeah. to the sound. So I actually changed them to the smaller ones. And when I put those in and um, didn't put them in as deep, it was a much more balanced sound, very even. Um, and compared to other flat earphones that we've tried before, I think they, they stack up really well. I think they sound very clear. Um, and very a very direct sound, very clear. Yeah, yeah. I, we listened to these. Well, we we tried them in isolation of each other, so we we didn't try them at the same time. Mm. And I did the exact same thing. I put the medium tips on uh, because I used the mediums with the Fleur's Pros and the medium foam tips for the Isolate ear protectors. They were the wrong size. Once I switched to small as well, it was uh, it was much better. They sat in my ears better, and uh, everything sounded. That's very good. Yeah, it's very rounded sound. I mean, I don't know what kind of music you listened to on them when you were sort of referencing them, but I was listening to everything from sort of orchestral scores through to you know some of the some of the tracks that they asked us to look at for the uh, the pros, which was a Foo Fighters track and a, and a Beatles track. And yeah, big sound for something at, at these kind of price points. The the Jet Twos they come in at sixty nine, so they're twenty pounds more than the. Um, in the polymer version and the only real difference is the fact that they're aluminium and not plastic. Yeah so both models they actually come with the same drivers it's a 10 mil driver and it uses the jet technology which is unique to flare audio and um, it's a very direct sound that comes out of the driver very clear and very powerful um, that's the big difference you're probably going to hear between these and a set of cheaper headphones they're going to be a much crisper clearer sound. Yeah I definitely noticed that one of the things that I, I looked at as well is when I put these in, yeah, normally I listen to um, earphone volumes on, on phones at full, um, only because they're usually muffled and you can't really hear anything. Um, for these, I had to try and take the volume down 
because they were clear enough and, and loud enough and powerful enough to not merit that much volume out of it, which it probably comes down to the fact of, of, of the next part is that we try to contrast these to other headphones that you would maybe use every day. Mm. So we looked at iPod headphones. Mm. So the standard iPod earbuds that you would get with your phone or iPod if you bought one of those back when they existed. Yeah. Um, or use with your iPad, etc. Mm. And um, I think we both had the same thoughts, didn't we? Yeah, kind of found with those um, that compared to these, they, they do seem very, very muffled. And I think it's to do with the design of the Apple earphones themselves and probably the drivers. There's a distinct lack of bass and it's kind of very muddy in the mids. Um, one thing to note with the Apple earphones as well compared to these, nowadays, when you buy an iPhone or something like that, the headphones are gonna be with a lightning connector which obviously you can only use with an Apple product. So the benefit of something like these is it's just a 3.5 millimeter jack, so you can use it with anything. But in the other way, you won't be able to use these with an iPhone, iPhone yeah. because they don't have a headphone jack. So it swings and roundabouts, it works both yeah. ways. Depends what you're, you're looking to use them for. Um, so that's just a, another point to consider. I would, I would spend 20 pounds more and get the polymer version of those throw the iPod headphones away and mm. buy a connector just exactly, to listen yeah. to music at better quality mm. than, than those Apple earbuds. Um, they're a, very good, aren't they? Yeah, there's a big difference as well between using in-ear earphones and non-ear non -ear, non -ear headphones. There's a lot more isolation. That's one of the big factors why you can hear everything so much yeah. clearer. It places everything in a stereo field much the same way as the pros do, obviously not the same audio file level mm. quality, mm. but you get this sense that you can hear everything in the right places, all the highs are nice and sparkly, you've got a nice rounded bass, everything sort of kicks really well. Mm. So you can actually hear stuff rather than just sort of having music passively entering your ears and kind of trying to figure out what you're listening to, yeah. which is obviously a lot more useful for people who are really into their music, but I think everyone should just listen to music at good quality. Mm. Yeah. Now the other thing that we can compare this to as well, um, and we had a long think about this, is Fleur used to produce a, another type of headphones, they were called the um, R2As and they had the R2A Pros, which they look very very similar to um, the Isolate Ear Protectors and um, the Pro, current Pro headphones. And we bought a set um, about a year ago um, when we saw them on, uh, on Amazon. Uh, we bought them at a reduced price, which obviously they were developing all the new headphones. Um, they were quite expensive at the time, but they were reduced to, to 99 pounds, I think we bought them at. So they look very similar to what we've seen from the Isolates. Um, the cables, not as robust as the Jets. No. Um, all the connections on it, it's quite a heavy connection in the middle. It's like a big metal block. Um, the connector at the end is not just a, not as sturdy, it doesn't really latch into uh, the headphone connector. Um, I wouldn't say they were the same as the Pros at all. They are very much comparable to the Jets. I put them in and I've used them before and I thought they were really good. They're still great and then you put the Jets in and you realise these are probably a couple of stages above an iPod headphone, mm. but they're just ridiculous in comparison um, so from the price that these were to the price you can get hold of the jets at yeah, the technology the technology yeah and the build quality and everything definitely definitely so if you have a pair of these these are r2a's or r2a pros and you think they're great and you you know you get into the point where you think i might need some new headphones maybe i don't know maybe i wouldn't say they're broken because they're quite solid but you know maybe they're, they're worn out a little bit you think i need something mm. For not very much money at all for headphones, you can get something that sounds even better yeah. and you've only spent, if you get the aluminium one, £69. Yeah. Not bad at all. Yeah. And you're probably thinking, you're hearing us waffling on about all this technical stuff and comparisons, but you're thinking, uh, are these the right headphones for me? Well, or do I need them? Um, and we probably think that the, the typical user for these Jet 1s or Jet 2s is probably just, the, is, they're gonna be your everyday headphones. Um, you're going to want to use them on the bus, on the train, um, maybe jogging or walking or anything like that. Just every day. You, you're not spending a, a really large amount of money, um, so you're not going to be super worried about them. But the difference in sound quality to, say, the, the free ones that come with a, an iPhone, is going to, you're going to hear it. Massive difference, definitely. Yeah. I think the other thing to remember as well is that um, you have extra functionality on these 
than you had from the old uh, R2As, which you've got a play pause button and it also answers calls as well. We did have a lot of people commenting on the Fleur's Pro video to say that you know they've got Jet 1s or Jet 2s um, they don't really see the difference, you know, they've, they've, they've tried to look at a pair of pros and they go, well, you know, is it much different, these sound great. There's a lot more functionality with the pros, even the, the Bluetooth pack that you get with them. You can answer and make calls, you can volume up and down, which you can't do on these. It is just a single button, but it's useful, you know, if you're a person who's jogging or just on the train, etc. and you just want to be able to pause the music for a second or you want to be able to answer a call and end a call quickly. That's all you really need. You know, if your device is in your hands, you can turn the volume up and down without having to click something. So I don't really think that's a massive issue. No. Yeah. Yeah. So all in all, for £49 for the polymers and £69 for the aluminium, I think you'd be hard pressed to get a set of headphones that quality for that price. Mm -hmm. So yeah, order some online from Fleur. Um, get them from your nearest stockist or order them from us here at the studio. And we'll see you on the next review. Thank you.